Welcome to part three, episode three of my Vampires in New Orleans series. We've taken a bite out of the tourist industry. We've learned the difference between a sanguinarian and a psychic vampire. We've delved into the history of some of the most infamous vampire legends that exist in the Crescent City. We've talked about the culture that has been built up and our vampire queen, Anne Rice. We've given nods to some very important pop culture legacies that have stemmed and also flourished within the Big East. But now, let's talk about the secret vampire speakeasy. You know that one that you have to get the card at the Vampire Cafe to go and visit? It's called Potions Speakeasy. And if you've gotten this far in the series, that's why you're learning the name. Potions is located on Bourbon, and it is actually inside of Fritzl's European Jazz Club. It's known for serving fabulous cocktails. Follow the Green Fairy to Potions Lounge. Potions. How to be invited. For non-members who want to slip inside the French Quarter's most magical speakeasy, step into Boutique du Vampire at 709 and a half St. Anne Street for a little browse, and one of our vampire staff will surely whisper the password and secret location. So here you can see some of Potion's concoctions. Love Potion number nine. They have some interesting ones on their menu there. Absinthe, Conjure, Black Cat, Holy Water, Broken Mirror. And if you are interested, you can become a member. Above the excitement of Bourbon Street, there's a magical secret little lounge where you can disappear for a spell. If you know the password, you're invited. Become a member and enjoy special perks while sipping cocktails, having a tea leaf reading, or lounging on a private balcony. Potions Lounge in NOLA. Do you know the password? Vampire owned and operated speakeasy in the heart of the French Quarter, specializing in absinthe, tarot, magic shows, private events, and more. Libations, vamps, and some of the pictures of their vampires. Here we have the libations. And then the tarot. And of course there is their Facebook page and they also have their menu. from the top of their balcony and some of the interior. I believe this is within their courtyard. And as you can see, mm -hmm. it's very close to the Smith shop and bar in the French Quarter. But you do have to get that vampire password to get in. And in order to do that, you can go to Boutique du Vampire 
or you can go to the Vampire Cafe and dine inside and they will give you that little card with the information on what to do if you would like to go to the Speakeasy, which is in Fritzl's European Jazz Pub. Another really cool thing you can do is check out Jonathan Weiss Tours and explore the darker side of New Orleans. Jonathan has been featured on several notable places, as you can see from the top. We got Travel, Discovery, A&E, History, Fox, and Sci-Fi. And of course, you can go to JonathanWeissTours.com to learn more. And as you're looking over his tours, if you go down towards the bottom, you will see his Vampire Tour and the Vampire Tour VIP, which this one, he also gets people into the Vampire Speakeasy at Potions. The New Orleans Vampire VIP Tour. If the Vampire Tour isn't enough horror for you, join us on the Vampire VIP Tour. Now available to adults 21 plus on Saturdays, the VIP Tour begins at 7 p.m. with the very best Vampire Tour in the French Quarter and is followed by VIP Admittance to the Secret Speakeasy. Hear stories not told on the Vampire Tour, secrets known by no other guide, strange encounters, and the distillation of decades of research. The VIP tour includes cover charge and extra hour of post-tour discussion with your guide, plus the password to obtain readmittance for the rest of the night. The most unique experience in the quarter. You can book now, or if you have questions, prefer to book your tour by phone, you can call them at 504-356-2007. So as you can see, things are definitely thriving and booming in the Crescent City when it comes to the vampire scene. If you're into gothic lifestyle, history, culture, and just maybe a fun and interesting, unique time, go check out uh, Boutique du Vampire, the Vampire KV. I loved it when I ate there. The food and drinks were amazing. Um, and get yourself the password to the potions, speakeasy secret speakeasy now remember there is the apothecary vampire bar that you can also go to so you have the choices of those three things the boutique de vampire the apothecary vampire bar um and also the vampire cafe and going to those things will get you the information on how to go forward if you're interested in attending this potions the potions speakeasy that is and again like i've said throughout the series um you can go look up all of this information. You can go look up information about the vampire balls, about these places, about the owner who also wrote the Legends of Vampires of Real Vampires in New Orleans book. Um, and you can learn for yourself. Now, this actually is going to be summarizing my three parts, but I do have a bonus part four that I will be coming up and talking to you guys about soon that's going to completely culminate the whole series, and I'm going to probably discuss a little bit more out of this right here um, and address any questions that you guys might have or if there's anything specific that I haven't already talked about that you guys might want to learn about. But you guys can always check out that bonus episode that extra part far that I'm doing um, as soon as I get it up which should not be too far from now I anticipate probably doing it this weekend um, if not the latest would be Monday and that will summarize the vampire in New Orleans series until next time y'all stay safe out there and remember real vampires are all about consent they're all about fun and they're all about enjoyment of the things that are lavish wonderful educating and just, you know, having a good time. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay safe, and have a great weekend. Bye.